hey guys welcome back to another episode of consumerism at its best so you know Alta and sephora just had their sales and i really tried not to buy anything but i don't know it kind of makes sense to me right Laverne, please do not comment on this i appreciate you but i don't need your feedback thanks but no thanks but i haven't gotten all of my packages as yet so this is probably gonna be like a three-part series i'm still expecting another package from Ulta and then another one from sephora but i'm just gonna get into what i've gotten so far so this is number one and this is number two So based on the title of this video you already know what it's gonna be i i think i did pretty decent this year i really tried um i was actually talking myself out of making any purchases but here we go it's really not as bad as it seems guys i don't know why they put the things in these big old boxes because it's really not a lot so opening my first box Am I the only one that this happens to? Because I was wondering why this box was so heavy. Because truly, I don't even remember what I ordered. But they're all necessities. What is this? Why did they put this in a bag like this? Is this what we're doing now, Ulta? It's really not giving. But yeah. I know this is my Garnier, my cellar water. I think I may have shown this in like a previous haul. I'm never without this. It cleanses, it removes makeup, and it just rehydrates your skin. So this is something I'll use sometimes the very first thing in the morning if I don't want to wash my face immediately. Like right after the gym, I'll just use this to just wipe away the dirt from my skin without using a cleanser that will dehydrate my skin, especially if I'm doing something that requires me to wash my face several times for the day or whatever. This is... I'm never not gonna have this so I just finished this bottle and these last for a very long time because the one I just finished I may have had it since the last haul I did in October so they last a very long time and I use this every day pretty much so get this it's very good I swear by it I'm never without it so you see necessities okay so this is my nyx mattifying powder this is another item that i usually always have in stock i just finished another one um i wanted to do a project pan this year but that didn't quite work out i just was not able to get through the number of things i had in <laughs> very quickly but this is one of the things i ended up finishing i love to have it to touch up my makeup like if i'm out this is what i use to touch up so it's a translucent mattifying powder it's a brightening translucent powder but i don't know that it does any brightening i just use it to mattify my face it's usually the very last product that i'll use to just blur everything and make sure everything's come together make sure like if my brows look a little shiny i don't mind going in with excess on there because this is translucent and again in my purse for whenever I go on the road and I need to just blot and mattify. Um, so these are face pads with glycolic and lactic acids. I've never tried anything from first aid before, but I think they're a pretty good brand. Going back to this quickly, I always just get the jumbo bottle because I use it so much and I use it so often. It just makes better sense to get the jumbo bottle. One of this could probably last the average person for an entire year. So these retail for about $38. I think I got like 30% off. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, especially since I've never used them before and I don't know if they're trash. I was curious to see how these work because um, I know Dr. Dennis Gross, his are like the pack of 60 retail for about 150 before taxes but i know those really work well so i wanted to try these to see if it would be a cheaper alternative so i'm curious to see how they work um why does look so <laughs> um but yeah pimple patches i've really become a fan of these and if you ask me if they work my answer may vary because sometimes they seem to really work sometimes i feel like it doesn't do anything but also i do believe that they have different kinds of patches for the different stages of your bumps 
Um, so I don't know which stage this would qualify for and maybe that is the reason why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, this has 90 patches. That's pretty good. It might sound like a lot, but it probably won't last for a very long time because sometimes in one night I'll use six patches. And let me just, it comes in different sizes. I'm actually almost, I have a pack right now that that I'm about finishing so I had to re-up because again it does work sometimes so it seems like these are the very tiny ones not sure if you could see but yeah so that's one size and another is a sheet that has like different sizes on that one okay like so this one so you see they have the super tiny ones as well as bigger ones but yeah these are very good to have I've used them I think I've tried Mighty Patch as well, but the one I have now is literally this exact one, the Cozarx, and it works great for me sometimes. So I decided to get another one. And Bro Gel, this is self explanatory. Yeah, I've become a fan of this. I think it works pretty well, even though lately I feel like it hasn't been holding. But initially I enjoyed it, which is why I repurchased another one to see how it will go. And of course, like whenever I go to Ulta, I have to re up on these the Dior Dupe L Flip oils. I'm not gonna keep buying uh, the Dior one for $40. I mean, every now and then I may get one, but this is a staple and I think it comes pretty close. The Dior version is a little bit thicker, I think, and lasts a little bit longer, but this is super close for $8 versus $40. <laughs> I think the little thickness in the Dior is not worth that much. I mean, it's good to have both, but I'm not going to keep... If I feel like a splurge every once in a while, I'll get a Dior one because I have one right now. But it's... I can't say I'm always going to have one, but this... I'm always going to have one of these. And finally, this is a liquid blush in the shade Camo. I'm really curious to see how this will work. Um, not sure that I've tried liquid blush before but yeah you guys will see tutorials and I'll let you know how this works for me and if I like it so that's pretty much it from this box I think the other one is gonna be um, I think because of the amount of money I spent I don't remember I got a sample set so I think I think that's just gonna be samples and it's so light bad behavior I don't like it <laughs> at all but this is a ton of sample so the first thing that jumped out at me is this Tiffany & Co Parfum Rose Gold Intense um, curious to see what it smells like so this is the image of it don't know that I've ever smelled a Tiffany fragrance before This smells, this smells really expensive. I'm not going to get into any details on this scent, but I really like it. I think I may just do another video telling you that, but my first impression is, uh, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Um, what is this? This is a... This is the next thing that's in there. It's a La Roche Posay Serum B5. I have no idea what that is. But I guess we'll figure it out. Um, this was also in it. It's uh, it's an eye cream from Peach Lily. This is just a survey cleanser. This All of this will be really good for traveling. Uh, I already used survey cleanser. I know that's good. This is a dry shampoo. I've never tried that before. So I'm actually happy to try this. I've never tried dry shampoo before. Lots of goodies. There's also this way leave-in conditioner. And this is a pretty decent size. Um, 0.84 fluid ounces. Nice. 
Thank you, Ulta. Estee Lauder Moisturizer, Advanced Night Repair. Uh, not sure what this is. Let's see. It's a moisturizer as well. Hope in a jar. Let's see what it looks like. Philosophy. I know I'm not. I've never used anything from Philosophy before. It has glycolic acid and hyaluronic acids. Uh, every moisturizer these days, like you have to be so careful of what you're picking up if you're using other actives before you apply your moisturizer because all of these moisturizers have so many actives in there. Winding down to the last few. I don't know what this is. It says Mineral 89 Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. I'm not sure it says plumping so I'm assuming maybe it's for the lips I'm gonna have to look up for what this is I don't know um, Kiehl's another good brand and this is retinol another serum this is actually a decent little bag this is a why can't I call it a mascara from roller lash and I don't know what don't know that I've ever heard of this brand before. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Curious to see how it works, but that's it. Stay tuned for part two. I believe my Ulta package will get here before the Sephora one. So it'll just be a continuation of Ulta until I get to Sephora. Also, look out for my review videos on some of these products. I'll see you in the next one later.